Hey, what's up? I'm Inez Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create fake light leaks in Adobe After Effects. It's a really cool technique that we're going to use, really simple to create as well. And if you don't wish to follow this tutorial, you can always buy the transition spec, which also includes the light leak preset. Uh, you can use it to do some transitions. You can do it as an overlay on your videos. Yeah, you can do whatever you want with different colors that you want. It's a really cool effect. And also, if you prefer working with real light leaks, because this effect is never going to achieve the actual light leak look. You can really put a lot of work into it. But real light leaks still have another kind of vibe to it. So if you prefer working Working with real light leaks we also have a pack with real light leaks that you can use as an overlay on your videos we'll put a link to that in the description below as well so you can use them and yeah apart from that I'll suggest that we start with a tutorial on how to do it Alright, here we are in Adobe After Effects and this is the footage that we will be using for this tutorial. I prepared this from a video I posted a while ago. Um, I want to apply the light leak effect to this video and also right here at the end we have this cool transition which is also a part of the transition spec that I talked about in the intro uh, for the light leaks as well. So what I'll do right here is create a new solid layer on top of my footage and I'll rename this to light leak and click OK. So this is what we have currently. We are going to apply an effect uh, generate and we're going to use the four color gradients right here. So this is actually basically it. So we have a bunch of colors. And the only thing you should do is go to, uh, for example, to the green color, change this to a black color. Uh, maybe go to the uh, pink color and also change this to black. And the yellow, I like to turn this to a warm kind of orange color like so. Maybe even almost red like, uh, like so uh, right here. And then for the blue, maybe you want to change it to a cyan color or maybe a purple color. Uh, it really depends on you. Maybe let's go for cyan right here and click OK. So now we already have something that looks pretty cool. If you go to the blending mode right here, if you don't see that, you can toggle the switches right here and change it to an additive or a screen. So this is additive and this is screen. I want to change my blue to an even more blue like so. And for the red, uh, maybe a little bit brighter like so okay so there we go I have my colors really cool but they're not animated they're not doing anything at this moment so what I want to do is go and hold alt and click on the point right here on stopwatch for 0.01 so alt click on this and here I'm going to enter an expression so enter wiggle open parentheses and you can decide which uh, number you want to enter here so I'm going to enter one which means one time a second it's going to change in value so one time a second comma I want to change value of 2000 so just to make sure a high number so it actually uh, flies all over the place so if I'm going to close this down and I'm going to check it away we're going to look at the color gradient right here we're going to see that our button is right here and if we're going to uh, like animate it well play through the timeline you're going to see that this is going to go all over the place so this is really cool this is exactly what I wanted actually so uh, great uh, we want to copy this expression copy and go to the other points uh, so right here for the 0.02 I'll click on it paste it 0.03 I'll click on stopwatch and paste it again click away and I'll click on stopwatch 0.04 and there we go so now we have this kind of animation which is really cool really clean uh, if you want to make some more variations in here for the color currently we have this nice and perfect if we're going to solo this perfect gradient I want to change that um, I'm going to apply another effect so I'm going to affects noise and grain actually I have to select this layer effect noise and grain right here I'm going to apply the turbulent noise effect okay so this is what we have right here I'm going to increase the scale so I'm going to open up the transform right here and increase the scale like so then I'm going to scroll down and right here we have the blending mode I want to change the blending mode to multiply and now we're going to see our color coming true again but of course this is a little bit too much so I'm going to lower the complexity to something like two so now we have just a little bit of variation in here so this is exactly what I'm actually looking for you can play around with the brightness if you want to and with the contrast I just want to mix it up just a little bit to make it not so perfect anymore so uh, something like this looks fine I'm going to unsolo this and you're already going to see a difference right here so it's just going to make it look a little bit more natural 
You can also press T on the keyboard with this layer selected and that's going to show the opacity for that layer. What I want to do here is maybe hold Alt and click on the stopwatch for the opacity as well and also enter wiggle, open parentheses and maybe go for two times a second. I want to change it within a value of 200 and close it again. And now we're going to see some variation in the uh, opacity as well. So really cool as well. Of course, you can go and animate these points individually if you don't want the wiggle effect. Uh, you can do that as well. You can also press E twice on the keyboard. That's going to open up all the expressions right here. And maybe you want to change it up a little bit. Uh, you can change the values to get different kind of results in here. So for the blue one, I also want to change this to something uh, a little bit different. Alright, so that looks pretty cool. Uh, what you can do as well is maybe change one of the black colors to a different color, maybe a purple one. Let's add one in here um, or more like a pinkish color and then you're going to get more colors in here. So maybe the blue, we can change this to, um, yeah, you can go and, and do crazy seven here, but I'm going to make this one um, black and actually I'm just going to work with like orange and uh, pink in here. So this is really cool. Okay, so this is basically how to get the light leak effects in Adobe After Effects. If you prefer working with real light leaks, I'm just going to show you a preview. I'm going to import it. So this is our 4K light leak and film burn uh, pack that you can buy on our website. We also have a free version where you get like five samples to try out. Um, but like right here, I'm just going to show uh, a comparison between these two. So for example, I'm going to take, I'm going to be importing this one right here and then drag it over here and set this to screen. Make sure the other one, the other layer is checked off here. And now we're going to see that this is the actual light leak. And of course we have to press S on the keyboard and scale it to 50 um, because it's actually 4K. So this is done with a real light leak. This is done with a fake light leak. And if you change this to an additive, it's going to be a little bit more bright. So you can play around with all these blending modes. Maybe for a classic color dodge can be cool as well. You give some uh, yeah, different kind of effects. And that's it. <laughs> All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. Also, subscribe to the channel for more. And definitely check out our website for more filmmaking assets. If you're a filmmaker, motion graphics artist, we have a bunch to offer. So check it out. Links in the description. And then I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.